In this video, we'll look at the same example from before, but analyze it with a null clients approach to seeing how the system behaves. So we did this example already previously. This was a predator prey model with X being the predator and Y being the prey. And I want to see how this works using a null clients approach. So for the null clients, I want to figure out where the individual derivatives here are zero. So we'll have an orange dx dt equaling zero, which we factored before as x times negative one plus 0.2y, which you know happens at x equals zero and y equals five. And in purple, we'll have dy dt equaling zero, which factors as y times two minus 0.4x, or y equals zero and x equals five. We can now draw these lines on a coordinate plane and then try to analyze from there. So we have our plane here. We have our orange null clients, which are x equals zero, which is the y-axis, and y equals five, a horizontal line around there. For the purples, which is when dy dt is zero, we have y equals zero, or the x-axis, and x equals five, a vertical line around there. Now from this, we can see that our equilibrium solutions are where the different colored null clients cross. So we have one here at zero, zero, which we saw before was a saddle, and one here at five, five, which is our center point. Now, to determine what's going on around these different points, I wanna look at which direction the solution is moving in each of these regions here, because similar to doing sign charts for autonomous equations or for derivative checks in Calc 1, we know that the direction in terms of like which way it's moving in terms of up, down, left, or right doesn't change unless you cross one of these lines. So in each of these regions, we can figure out which way the solution is going to move. So for example, say that I am down in this quadrant here. This means that I have, say a point, we'll just check at a given point to say the point one, one is in this region. I plug in one, one to my equations here. I will get the dx dt, this is positive, this is negative, it's negative. So dx dt is going to be negative at this point. And dy dt will be positive because this will be 1 and then 1.6. So at 1, 1, dx dt is negative, dy dt is positive. That means it's going to go up and to the left in this region. So I have an arrow that goes up and left here. I can do the same thing for the other regions. If I'm up here, at say one comma six, because I'm above y equals five, I will see that the y dt is still positive because both of them here are still positive, but dx dt is now also positive. That is switched to becoming positive. The arrow goes that direction. Turning around, you will see exactly the cycle argument that we had before. To see this is going to spiral around this point. You don't know if that's going to be closed trajectories or like a center but you do know it's gonna go sort of looping around that. Another way to interpret this is because we know where the null clients are, we know what's going to switch at each point. Right? If I move from this bottom quadrant here up to the one above it, I'm crossing an orange line, which I'm crossing where dx dt is zero, which means dx dt is gonna change signs. So it's gonna go from going left to going right across that line. And particularly what I can say is that on this line, it's going exactly up because dx dt is zero and dy dt is positive. I can fill in those same arrows on all the other lines to more fully fill out this cycling behavior of this setup. So this gives us the same kind of picture as before with equilibrium solutions and the stability analysis, but sort of a more directly get a feel for what's going on with this situation. And we'll see how these all come together with another example for a different type of system but that's the idea of null clients. You want to figure out where each derivative on its own is zero, draw in those lines, and then use them to figure out in which quadrants the solution is moving in certain directions, and then put that together to figure out what's actually going on with the solution to this nonlinear system using a null client analysis.